Congratulations on purchasing your Yamar tractor. This video will show you the primary maintenance checks that you should review each day before you begin operating your tractor. These checks will help you stay safe and keep your tractor in proper operating condition. For this video, we will be performing these checks on a Yamar SA324 tractor. Naturally, check your owner's manual for all the checks and safety guidelines. All right, so before we get started, let's check the tractor's safety features. This can include the lights, slow moving vehicle sign, and parking brake. Visually check the tractor for damage, any excessive wear, and for any missing components. This includes the rollover protection structure, or ROPS, or the cab, whichever the tractor has. If you have an open station tractor, be sure the ROPS are in the up and locked position. The seat belt will need to be inspected as well. Make sure to look for any damage, tears, or cuts. And make sure it operates properly. Now let's check the tire pressure. Remember tire pressures can vary depending on your tractor model and tire size. Make sure to check your operator's manual for the proper inflation pressure. If you're using a liquid ballast, make sure the valve stems are at the top of the wheel when checking the pressure. This will prevent fluid loss. Now let's move on to the engine compartment. So now we're going to lift the hood and visually inspect and make sure there's no engine oil leaks. If there are leaks, you need to repair or replace any damaged components. Check for leaks around the oil filter and the oil drain plugs located on the oil pan. The oil level should also be checked. Make sure that the tractor's engine is turned off, wipe away any dirt or dust from around the dipstick. Pull the dipstick out, wipe it off, and put it back in. Ensure that you have it fully inserted and pull out the dipstick and verify that the oil level is within the upper and lower limit marks. If it's low, add the appropriate amount to bring the level back to the full mark. You'll want to replenish it with Yanmar Genuine Oil. You can purchase Yanmar Engine Oil at your local Yanmar dealer. While we're here, let's check for coolant leaks. Visually check on and around the radiator, the radiator hoses, and associated components. Look for cracks or any signs of hose deformation, especially around the hose clamps. You will need to replace any damaged components. Now let's check the engine coolant level. The engine should be turned off and cooled before checking the coolant level. With the hood raised, you will see the engine coolant bottle. Visually check to ensure that the coolant is at the full mark. Do not open the coolant bottle or remove the radiator cap if the engine is hot. This could result in serious burns as the system is under pressure. If the coolant is low, refill it to the full mark on the bottle using Yanmar's premix coolant. If your tractor is equipped with a radiator screen, remove it and clean it with a brush, cloth, or compressed air. Also, visually inspect the radiator fins for any debris that could restrict airflow, which could cause the engine to overheat. The last item to check while in the engine compartment is the battery. Simply check the terminals to ensure they are tight and look for any corrosion. If the terminals are loose, tighten them with a socket or a wrench. Use caution when removing and installing the terminals. Be sure the wrench or socket does not come in contact with the tractor frame or any other metal part while tightening the terminals. This could cause an electrical shock or the battery to explode. With the engine checks completed, we'll go ahead and close the hood. The hydraulic system is a key component of your tractor. Visually inspect the hydraulic hoses, connections, implements, quick disconnect blocks, and the implement control lever for any signs of dry rot, cracks, or leaks. Hydraulics operate under high pressure. Even a small leak can be dangerous, so it's best to either repair the leak or replace the faulty component. The final inspection of the hydraulic system is to check the transmission hydraulic oil level. This check should be made with the implements in the fully lowered position and the tractor turned off. At the rear of the tractor near the PTO is the round sight glass. The fluid level should be approximately halfway in the sight glass. If the level is below half, replenish with Yamar Genuine Hydraulic Oil. You can purchase Yamar Hydraulic Oil at your local Yamar dealer. You can check the fuel level by turning on the ignition switch and check the fuel level indicators on the bottom of the panel. 
Performing these simple checks will ensure the high performance and longevity of your Yamar tractor. And remember, these steps and more information may be found in your owner's manual. For more details, visit yamartractor.com. Enjoy your Yamar tractor.